Now to one whose self-centeredness rivals Harry and Meghan. I'm talking about the entitled, privileged and pampered television personality, Lisa Wilkinson, who has an incessant need to talk about how she has suffered. Her autobiography, It Wasn't Meant to Be Like This, is a 500-page woe-is-me waffle, and it seems barely a day goes by where we aren't subjected to its wearisome excerpts. And that's what it's and that's just what many Australians don't need to hear as they struggle to regain their livelihoods. The complaints of an overpaid North Shore millionaire. And this week was no different. Ever wondered what writing a book looks like? Wilkinson posted on Instagram. For me, it was often like this, puffy, mascara-stained eyes after hours of tears, t- after hours of tears, many months of a complete crisis of confidence, totally convinced I just wasn't up to the task. Amazingly, someone was on hand to uh, capture the image of poor Lisa as she laboriously worked away at her draft. New South Wales One Nation state leader Mark Latham summed it up nicely. Mr Deputy President Wilkinson is a PhD in victimology. Even now in promoting her book sale, she's playing the victim card with a social media post in the last couple of days asking, ever wonder what writing a book looks like? Boo hoo for her first world problems, posting a picture from her Mossman mansion with smudged mascara, feigning distress while also carefully in a classic product placement posing with copies of the Red Pirates books, Mr Wilkinson's ghost-written books, in front of her. And Latham has also informed the New South Wales Parliament of some interesting goss from one of Wilkinson's old classmates. Wilkinson has reinvented herself as a victim of the gender pay gap at Channel 9, but now in her train wreck publicity about her new book, another me, 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 I, I, I exercise... We know that for most of her time on the Today Show, she was paid more than her male counterpart, Carl Stefanovic. Recently, one of Wilkinson's old friends at Campbelltown contacted me to say, that's Lisa, it's always been about the money. Wilkinson's credibility has taken a big hit following the release of her book. To begin with, her claims that she was ostracised and ignored by her Today Show co-host Carl Stefanovic on one occasion were refuted when a video of that episode showed him being warm and friendly towards her. And remember the claims that her acrimonious departure from Nine in 2017 was about her being a victim of the gender pay gap? As you heard Latham say, Wilkinson was paid more than Seth Stefanovic for six years. In fact, Nine Network's then-CEO Hugh Marks hit out at Wilkinson following her departure, publicly claiming she was offered a $1.8 million salary package but wanted $2.3 million, which would have pushed her well above Stefanovic's annual salary of $2 million. So what does Wilkinson have to say about all this? The gender pay gap was off the charts. The $2.3 million is a complete lie that's been constantly repeated. I didn't go into the numbers in the book because I thought it was, you know, that, that, that whole narrative was put out there to make me look greedy. But what was even more ridiculous was the size of the gender pay gap that, that I had been experiencing for many, many years. And How big was that gap? Of... How big was that gap? Well, I won't say specifically. You can, you can make your own judgment why Wilkinson, who habitually talks about herself at length, won't provide those numbers. In addition to being, shall we say, not entirely accurate with her recollections, she's insufferably sanctimonious. Take this, for example, from last week. We are talking about the future of our planet. We are talking about this affecting generations to come. And I I don't know about you, I don't have grandchildren, but I don't know how I'd look them in the eye if I didn't feel like I, you know, did my bit as a voter to help change happen. Well, future grandkids of Wilkinson, this is what grandma was doing to combat climate change. Here she is in sunny Sicily. Here she is holidaying in Paris. And here she is relaxing in the beautiful Greek islands. 
And how did she get to those places? As the Daily Mail reported in 2018, she is a high flyer. Lisa Wilkinson jets off on another overseas assignment for the Sunday Project. And hints, she's travelling business class. What was it that she tweeted last year? Why is it that those who believe in climate change ooze common sense and empathy and those who don't have permanently smug expressions? Talk about the big fat case of projection there.